new way. Chapter 1. Creativity isn't random. We often imagine creativity as lightning sudden, chaotic, impossible to predict. But researchers like Dean Keith Simonton, a leading psychologist of creativity, argue otherwise. He studied thousands of works by composers, scientists and inventors and found something surprising. I love this video! What did he find out that was surprising? Creative success follows statistical probability. The more attempts someone makes, the more likely they are to produce a masterpiece. In other words, creativity has a law of large numbers. So if you haven't hit creative pay dirt yet, don't give up, keep at it! Think of Thomas Edison. He filed over 1,000 patents. Most of them forgettable. But hidden in that pile were the light bulb and the phonograph. Same with Picasso. He created more than 20,000 works, but only a fraction define him today. So be prolific. Don't be precious. Keep on creating, whether it's words or paintings or video games. If you do enough, you will have those breakthrough pieces. I love this video and I was eager to share it with you. This is Strategic Basics and I'm Aurora Winter and I love helping people express their creativity in best-selling award-winning books and in videos. Chapter 2. Zip's Law and Idea Distribution But it's not just about trying more, there's also a distribution pattern in play. Enter Zip's Law, a principle from linguistics and mathematics. It says that in any large set, the frequency of outcomes follows a predictable curve. A few things are extremely common, most are mediocre, and a tiny fraction are extraordinary. Apply this to creativity. Most of your ideas will be average, some will be pretty good, and a rare few will be brilliant. That curve shows up everywhere, hit songs, best-selling books, viral TikToks, Mathematically, most creativity is noise, but the signal is in the outliers. So you won't create a masterpiece every single time, but if you keep at it, you may have some masterpieces and amongst those, those good ideas. Next up is one of my favorite ideas to spark creativity. Chapter three, combinatorial creativity. Another formula for creativity comes from Margaret Bowden, a pioneer in cognitive science. She argues that creativity is mostly combinatorial, taking existing elements and recombining them in novel ways. This is one of my favorite things to do to enhance creativity, combine things in different ways. If you model this mathematically, it's like permutations and combinations. A limited number of building blocks can produce an astronomical number of new arrangements. That's why hip-hop sampling, meme culture and scientific theories all feel new, but are built from recombining what's already there. So what's really cool about this is you don't have to be completely original. You can take two things that work and combine them, and that is originality. 10,000 hour and exponential growth curve. Then there's the role of time and effort. You've probably heard of Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hour rule, though it's debated. It echoes a real mathematical truth. Skill follows an exponential curve. At first, progress is slow, but as hours accumulate, ability accelerates and breakthroughs become more likely. Think of it like compound interest. And that's so exciting. At the beginning, progress is so slow and painful, but it's exponential, not linear. So mastery comes at the edges. Maybe it's 10,000 hours, maybe it's a different number, but it certainly comes after you've put in the elbow grease to learn something. That's one of the things I love about my son. He's always urging me to learn things, such as learning OBS recording. He's like, Mom, you just haven't spent enough time learning it. And yes, he's right. So lean into that growth mindset and learn skills until you get the 10,000 hours, which I certainly don't have 10,000 hours of OBS, but I've got more than 10,000 hours of speaking. So <laughs> let's clip, let's jump forward to the next clip in this really fun, thought-provoking video. Chapter five, 
The chaos and order balance. Here's another fascinating angle, complexity theory. Creativity often emerges at what scientists call the edge of chaos, the delicate point between total randomness and rigid order. Too much chaos? Nothing makes sense. Too much order? Nothing new happens. But in between lies the sweet spot, where unexpected but meaningful connections form. Mathematicians model this with systems like cellular automata, showing that the richest patterns appear not in pure noise, not in rigid repetition, but right in the balance. That's essentially where creativity lives. <laughs> So I love this video about creativity and the link to the full video are in the description as always. So this is Strategic Basics. So what are the takeaways? Well, creativity isn't random. It is statistical. Basically, it is math. So instead of waiting for that one lightning bolt idea, keep producing, create, keep challenging yourself to create, whether you're writing or doing art or creating with AI or creating video games, publish more, judge less. <laughs> There's also the Zips Law. Some ideas will be average, some will be good, a rare few will be brilliant, but you have to put in the time and the work to find those masterpieces. Point number three, new is just a remix of other things. So that's fine. You can take something that's working in one area, something that worked somewhere else. When you put it together, that's your creativity and that's fun and something to celebrate. So don't try to be new, new, new and everything. That's impossible. Instead, have fun combining things. Uh, Takeaway number four, exponential growth. Progress is slow until it's not. At the end of the curve, you can be amazed by how excellent your creativity is. And then finally, creativity lives on the edge of chaos. Too much order, not enough creativity. Too much chaos, no creativity there. But in between chaos and order, that's where creativity lives. This is Strategic Basics and I'm Aurora Winter and I will see you on the next video.